What's up, Fig Fam? So, I recently put up the new lights and uh, figured, why not do a nice little unboxing? Um, I'm not feeling doing the Jeff today. There's two bags. Um, well, this is different. Um, I mean, it's just a John Cena figure, but screw it. Let's do it. This it's. It's got some cool stuff in it. Well, let's check it out. We'll unbox this John Cena WrestleMania 21 gear. guys welcome back to the heel cave uh, it seems a lot of people like that i did the last unboxing in here when i did the little subject so i figured why not we'll do another one um and today we have this wwe Jack Pacific ruthless aggression era wrestlemania 21 gear john cena um i at this moment in time well i should say at the moment in time that this was made like everybody else that was a wrestling figure fan, I was a huge Ruthless Aggression action figure fan. I just thought that they were so cool. Um, I thought, like, they had wrist mobility, ankle mobility. Um, they, they were they were bulky. They looked like action figures, you know? They had real scan, real, real scan faces. I know that the Titantrons did, but there was just something about the arms and, and the legs that I didn't like. And it was, just, it, it was all very uniform. Granted, these were all very uniform too. They used a lot of the wrong bodies and torsos. But at the time, these were so cool to me. They had real elbow pads, real knee pads. I loved this line. And then we got uh, Mattel and you realize that Jax was just like... They were just a step below being perfect figures. And uh, it's easy to say that Mattel is making some of the best wrestling figures ever made. Um, maybe when Mattel doesn't have the license anymore at some point, we'll get even better figures. Um, I like to think that everything evolves and things only get better. So we, we, we will see. Um, I'm looking at the back of the box, um, a little dusty from being in storage. And, uh, it's got Ruthless Aggression Series 15 on the back and it has Carlito, which is one of my favorite Ruthless Aggression figures. Comes with the apple and his entrance um, shirt. Uh, it's got the coach, another cool figure. I, I don't know why, but I always like that coach, even though it's so bland and plain. The Mark Jindrak, which I never had and I wanted. And he's the only figure, I think, from this series that I didn't have. Uh, Snitsky, Big Show, and Christian. And if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. You can correct me in the comments if, if I'm wrong. Um, this is just going based off of memory, what I what I recall in my head. And I do believe that Ruthless Aggression 15 was the first series where they did the 1 of 500 chase belts, which was so cool. They were like die cast and they had like the belt bag. I never found one in stores. I've never bought one on eBay. I just thought that it would be so much cooler to find one in stores. I never did. Never did. Um, what else? What else? Oh, it has Adrenaline Series 14 on here, which had Batista and Eddie Guerrero, um, Davari and Mohamed Bahasan, and Tajiri and William Regal as two packs. And at the bottom, it's got the championship belts, which is the World Heavyweight title, the Intercontinental, the uh, what is this? The World Tag Team. The World Championship U.S. title, the Cruiserweight title, the Winged Eagle, and the Classic Intercontinental title. Um, now, on the front, we got a classic picture of John Cena. Listen, you can say what you want about the man now, 
yes, he has grown stale, but at this time, this was what, 2005? 2005, John Cena was the man. Um, the place would explode when he would come out. It was a different time for Cena then. Um, he was the chain gang soldier, and, uh, like, look, look at the, look at the lock. Come on, how awesome is that? Um, I remember when they first came out with the new short mold Cena, and I lost one. I was like, it's so sick, because that's how everybody wore their shorts back then. That's how I wore my shorts. You know, he would wear shirts that were three sizes too big. Um, that was just the culture then, so it was cool to have somebody like that in wrestling. Without further ado, though, let's stop talking about it, and let's start looking at it. And, oh, well, look at how dingy that tape is. It's yellow and crusty. Blood. First things first. This ain't even a spinner, dog. I really thought this was a spinner. I, re I really didn't look at it close enough. Um, makes sense that it's not a spinner, but I guess you just automatically assume that it is because that's what his chain was. It would, whoosh, and it would spin. This does nothing. It's about the, I don't know, size of a, I mean the width of a, of a quarter. This thing could break very easily. It says, Chain Gang Soldier, you want some? Come, get some. And it's got some fake old chain. You know what? Still pretty cool. We're going to put it on while we open up this figure. So. All right, we got Cena here. He's jacked. He's jacked. No knee pads on. I think a lot of these... Short mold Cena's in this mold came with knee pads because the knee pads would fit underneath the the jean mold the jean short molds pretty well. But these were like the jean shorts that were made for like Jamie Noble. Um, let's take out the chain and then we'll talk about everything. All right. So first things first. That's a good scan for Cena. Look at that scan. I mean, it looks like him. The hair is probably a little bit too tall, I would say. I would shave it down just a little bit because his hair was had a length that was a little bit shorter than this. Um, he's jacked. Definitely fits his body type. Um, he's got the Word Life logo on his wristband. He's got the Word Life logos on both of his wristbands. On this side, he's got a green and black one. And he's got the Word Life logo on his armband, which is actually a headband that he puts around his massive arm. Uh, his boxers are showing a little bit above the belt, which is cool. His belt's coming out of the loop. He's got his jean shorts. Not exactly like his because he didn't have holes in his jean shorts like this. But, you know, it's Jack specific and we like to reuse stuff. Um, I noticed that there's actually another Word Life on that side, I guess because you can go like this and he kind of does like the, you can't see me. Because it makes those, doesn't make sense why they would put it there when it should be kind of on the side of his wrist. But he's got his generic sneakers on. They at least have a design though. I'm pretty sure back then a lot of these sneakers were mostly black. It's got a white sole. It's got the design down the side. It's got a blue, uh, blue, got a red tongue. What is it with me and my colors lately? I can't get colors right. Um, so I got the chain gang chain on. I think little man needs a chain gang chain too. Um, so this chain is at least um, a little bit, I guess, better. It's an actual... It's actual metal um, on the actual chain. Uh, this though is plastic. The actual pendant is, is plastic and it says chain gang soldier. You want some, come get some just like the one around my neck says you want some, come get some chain gang soldier. So how I would display this figure is I think it would look cool because look how long this chain is. That's not as long as the chain was around his neck. It kind of came down. I would say just a little bit shorter 
right in front of his abdomen. You could probably take one to two links off of this and it would be perfect. It's a little long. It goes past his, his uh, belt buckle. But what I would do is I would put the pendant in his hand. Like that. Got the you can't see me hand up here. Boom. That's how you display this figure. That's dope right there. That looks awesome. So, chain gang soldier. He's got his chain. Boom. I got mine. See, see, mine is probably... This one's probably about the right length. Maybe a little bit longer. This probably needs two lengths. And this one needs to lose two lengths. Um, so, we got the chain gang soldier. John Cena, the doctor of thugonomics. Uh, he's got his chain gang chain. He's got his word life uh, armbands, wristbands, headband on the bicep. He's got his... Nike's on. He's got his jean shorts that are really that he's borrowing from uh, Jamie Noble uh, after his match because he forgot his at home. I mean, it's it's a pretty basic John Cena figure. It's about as as good as it gets right there. All right, so here we are, the new John Cena. He's got his chain gang. I already put the chain around this Mattel John Cena uh it's funny because it kind of hangs in front of his belt kind of like this one would uh I had to wrap around a couple times but it looks pretty cool I don't know what else to do with it um I got a couple John Cena's I got this one got the original in the back I don't like to overdo it on Cena's but they did make some pretty different Cena's back then here's the 54 jersey he had some cool figures but for now we're going to put this one right in the front. I actually have another one with the chain right back there. I didn't even realize. Pretty much the same figure. Different shoes, like I said. See, white there. Got the blacks in there. But I'm going to break this, this whole thing down. And I'm going to do one of each guy on here. I'm going to have to pick the best ones I like. It's going to be hard with guys like Heidenreich because I got the regular Heidenreich. You got the LOD Heidenreich. Maybe I'll make an exception for that. Maybe I'll do like debut Cena and I don't know. Word life Cena. Got to do debut Orton and modern Orton. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But for now, oops, always hitting stuff in my butt. There's that scene. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Fakey on at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And keep tuning in for more. Have a good one, guys. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Fakey on at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And check out my new Unreleased Wrestling Figure coloring book series available now on Amazon.com, including Prime Shipping.